Hello Scorpio, welcome to a reading for the next six months in love. We're going to be looking at what you can expect in the next six months in love. Um, as always, it's meant to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Scorpio 100%. Um, check out your other placements, your moon and your rising sign, because this reading could apply for you. Um, I'm going to have the playlist for each sign linked in the description box so you can check them out. And um, feel free to also flip the roles or flip the energies if they resonate more for you. All right, let's jump in. First, Scorpio spirit. What can Scorpio expect in the next six months in love? What can Scorpio expect in the next six months in love? What can Scorpio expect? In the next six months in love. What can I expect, Spirit? The next six months in love. Curious, interested, and inquisitive. And then we have Pisces ruled by Neptune, which is like the moon card. So I feel like someone's trying to figure something out here. Um, maybe their intuition is guiding them here to try to get clarity because i feel like someone's trying to get clarity on something here you could be dealing with a pisces but i'm not picking that up as much as i'm picking up the moon with the curious energy here let's see what else we get what else for scorpio what is coming next for scorpio in the next six months here what can scorpio expect in love Okay, secret admirer, intrigue, watchful attraction, you've caught someone's eye. What can Scorpio expect in the next six months? Okay, so you could be watching someone or someone could be watching you, watching your social media, new beginnings. Wow, okay, love it. So let's get into the tarot. Spirit, tell me more for Scorpio. What can they expect in the next six months? In love. What can they expect in the next six months? In love. Tell me about this Pisces and curious energy. Two of Cups. So this is about a partnership. Someone here I feel is looking someone up or is curious about a connection or needs clarity on a connection. What else can you tell me about this Pisces and curious energy? Ace of Swords, yeah. they. Someone wants clarity here on a connection what's this page of swords yeah someone's watching someone's spying okay so let's see what's with the secret admirer tell me about this secret admirer for scorpio okay no the one that i wanted got hidden in there so no <laughs> tell me about the secret admirer tell me about this energy we have the Nine of Swords, Fear, Anxiety, Sleepless Nights, Stress, and we have the King of Swords. Hmm. Maybe someone's worried about what to say, how to communicate. Uh, wow, Seven of Swords. Yeah, someone's being sneaky. Someone's being very sneaky, but I feel like it's out of fear or, or anxiety. Tell me about this new, and of course this could be you, Scorpio, or someone else. Tell me about new beginnings. What is this new beginnings about? What is new beginnings about here? Page of Swords. Wow, look at all this air energy here. This is crazy. Could be dealing with an air sign here. Tell me about new beginnings. It's almost like a conversation that leads to a new beginning here or someone 
Yeah, Queen of Cups. I love this card, by the way. This is the Northern Animal Tarot. Um, I'll have it linked down below if you are curious about this beautiful deck. Uh, Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I feel like, okay, so there's something here. There's a reason why someone's so scared. I'm trying to figure out why I'll find out with my clarifying deck here. But someone, I feel, is secretly watching the other person or keeping tabs on the other person. And I feel like they desire a new beginning here or this conversation could lead to a new beginning because I have Ace of Swords, King of Swords, Page of Swords. This is all about communication. And this is about love. I have the Queen of Cups and the Two of Cups. But why the anxiety? Why the fear? Why the restless nights, right? So let's get some insight here. Spirit Angels Guides. Guidance, Clarity for Scorpio. Give me some, oh, give me some guidance and clarity, some insight for Scorpio. Oops. The High Priestess, Three of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, it's like someone's secretly desiring to work on things, to build something, to build a happy life. Tell me about this Ace of Swords. Why is that? Wow, Four of Wands. Tell me about this Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords. All right, so Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck again. I mean, there's really no other way to interpret this. Someone wants to talk, wants clarity, wants a new beginning based on truth, on communication. This is a card about victory, the Ace of Swords. And, you know, it's almost like they want clarity or victory with like, a two of cups, a soulmate, a partner, and they want it all with them. Four of wands. This is kind of like rite of passage here. Yeah, and I feel, okay, page of cups reverse and the moon reverse. So I feel like someone has hidden their feelings. Pisces energy here with the moon. Someone I feel like has um, neglected their feelings or ignored their feelings for this other person. Let me move this. Get a little bit better here. Hold on. Okay. Okay, so tell me about the Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords here? I feel like this is kind of like what's in the way or what what could be a block here. I mean, why the secrecy? Why is the Nine of Swords here? The Lovers Reverse, Gemini Energy. There could have been a separation between you. Or it could be that someone is maybe, okay, I, I heard afraid to make a choice or afraid to pull the trigger here. Okay, tell me about the Nine of Swords. Can I get another one, please, for the Nine of Swords? Okay, I know my deck wants to talk. I'm trying to give it like an opportunity of the, the Chariot, Cancer Energy. Yeah, I feel like someone's scared to make a move here. Okay, hold on. Ten of Cups? <laughs> what is going on here? But the Knight of Cups is reversed. Ten of Wands. It's like this person has carried their feelings or kept their feelings hidden even after there was a separation or despite the fact that they're that you're not together with this person because you're not together with this person. Why would you spy on someone you're already with, right? It makes no sense. Um, I feel like this person has like loved you all this time or kept tabs on you all this time or just 
secretly pined for you, uh, Scorpio, or vice versa. Um, but I'm still not understanding where the fear comes from. What happened with this lover's reverse? What happened with this lover's reverse? King of Pentacles. Two of Swords reverse. Yeah, it's like this is someone I feel like hasn't made a choice because or, you know, or they're too scared to pull the trigger to to make this choice here. Why the Knight of Cups reverse? Oh no. <laughs> Two of Wands and the Devil. I think this is a third party situation. I feel like there's obviously a block here. The third party situation could be the fear, but I think something else got in the way of you being together. And they still are like, they still love you or they still care about you. They still keep tabs on you. Despite the fact that there's, that something else got in the way. Can I get one more for the Nine of Swords? Can I get one more? Again with the Page of Cups reverse, Knight of Cups reverse. Yikes. Okay, so I, I, I get the sense that this person, it's like when things are rough in their life, when things don't work out for them, when they deal with difficult people or their partner maybe is difficult or situations are not good wherever they're, they're at, this is when they think about you the most. So what's with this page of swords? Will they make contact? What's with this page of swords? Or will they just secretly spy on you? Because I have new beginnings here. Why is the page of swords here? Strength, Leo energy. Okay, tell me more about Page of Swords. Justice reverse, Libra energy. Tell me more about the Page of Swords. Hmm. Well, there's a Page of Swords again, the Hermit. And the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo energy with the Hermit. And then the Eight of Swords. Okay. Okay, hold on. Why the Strength card? So I, I'm getting a message, but I'm not like feeling very certain about it. Why is strength here? Okay. Why is justice reverse? Why is justice reverse? Okay. Why is page of pentacles reverse? Okay, so Scorpio, 10 of Swords Reverse, 5 of Cups Reverse, 6 of Pentacles Reverse. I'm getting that this is someone that maybe just desires a new beginning, but they don't have the ability to go after this new beginning yet. And it's because they are stuck somewhere right now. And they're, um, as long as they're in that situation, this is like never going to happen, basically. And I hate to say things like that, that are so final, but I mean, there is no other way to interpret this energy. The King of Wands is reversed. The Page of Pentacles is reversed. So this is someone that doesn't, can't take action or doesn't want to take action, doesn't go after what they want. And they can't even make you a small offer. They don't have anything to give you right now. And justice is reversed. So maybe justice will ultimately 
um, make things right because the devil is here, Capricorn energy. So someone I feel goes back and forth between courage and lack of courage. Like they, they go back and forth, like they, they're not sure. Tell me about justice reverse. But they care about you. I mean, you have the Queen of Cups here, and I think this is how they view you. Tell me about the Justice card reverse. King of Swords reverse. Yeah, there's something going on here that um, there could also be self-deception. Someone that refuses to see things for what they truly are um, cannot look at something objectively, right? And that kind of keeps them stuck. Yeah, okay, so this is this is like a difficult um, conflict. There's drama over there, Scorpio. I don't know what's going on over there, but there's, it's, it's not good, basically. <laughs> I feel like this person wants um, a recovery, wants to overcome this difficulty, wants a new beginning, but it's like they're not able to really make this happen. They can't focus on this. They can't put the effort necessary, something like that. But this person wants to talk. I feel like they're going to still open up the lines of communication because I have the, the chariot here um, and I have the two of swords with the chariot so oh my gosh there's the wheel of fortune with the star <laughs> Aquarius energy spirit is like don't give up okay there's still hope have faith I feel like this person this person that needs to know this don't give up have faith there you are, Scorpio, two of wands with the death card. Someone needs to choose, though. Um, spirit can open the door, but it, they won't shove you through it, right? Like, that's not how it works. I feel like there's, there's, spirit is trying to help this along. Um, trying to heal if this is a situation that needs to be healed. Um... But I feel like for now, all this person can do is secretly admire you from afar and maybe talk to you here and there. Maybe they already talk to you, but not in a romantic sense. This could be like someone from work or school or someone that you were with a long time ago, something like that. Um, but I feel like there is a new beginning at the very end of this, at least. Like if there were communication, I feel like this would open a door for sure. It's just, will someone pull the trigger? Because they go back and forth. And wherever they're at, is miser they're miserable over there. So it's almost like it just pushes them more and more towards you. So that's what I have for you for the next six months, Scorpio. I hope that you um, enjoyed this reading. I hope it resonated for you. If you'd like to say hi or if you'd like to tell me if this resonated at all, then leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to check out the, the playlist in the description box if you wanted to check out your other placements. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.